All right, it is the Battle of the Big Guns today. I'm talking President Trump, former President Barack Obama, hitting the uh, campaign trail on behalf of their candidates. Uh, we've already heard from a number of Democrats who are sort of playing all of this as maybe a launching point to the next election, the 2020 presidential election, including California Senator Kamala Harris, who has uh, been proposing, among other things, scrapping the tax cuts that Republicans engineered without a single Democratic vote and channeling a lot of that money into uh, money for the poor. Uh, $6,000 a year that would be issued, $500 a month. A lot of other ideas like that being bandied about. We have the former Washington, D.C. Democratic Party chairman, Scott Bowen, with us right now. Scott, good to have you. Good. Thank you for having me, Neil. <laughs> All right, so where is this guy? I know, obviously, within a nanosecond of the, the last voting, uh, uh, you know, in two weeks, the, the presidential candidates are on, and, and a lot of the more prominent ones, Senator Kamala Harris among them, have been pushing for this idea, dropping, ripping up the tax cut Republicans came up with, and replacing it with a sort of a, a credit payment to the poor. What do you think of that? Well, I think you're going to see more and more of those proposals. Her proposal cost as much as the uh, Republican tax cut that put a, about a trillion dollar uh, hole in the deficit. And so what I think her bill does is it's, she's trying to increase the number of people who can make it to middle class, however you define middle class, depending on what part of the country you're in. The Democrats hate that uh, tax cut, those tax cuts, because it was primarily for the wealthy and not for the poor people, or they got $100, $200 in their check. And so this is the Democratic pushback. The real question whether well, what it's the are tax people going to think, though, Scott, <laughs> if you tell those same people that tax cut you've been, been getting, um, you're not going to get? Well, they had that one-time tax cut, and they got that one-time $100 or $200 credit. The ongoing number isn't going to be the same. And here's the thing. Well, the lower Her rate bill, will continue to be the same. If it were reversed, they're going to pay more in taxes, right? But we should, well, I certainly wouldn't be in support of that. But what I would say is that tax cut is going to cost, has cost America, and her bill costs about the same. But this, in this case, she's trying to lift the middle class there. Uh, well, how you're going to you see do more that of that. By just issuing a check from the government for $500 a month to poor people everywhere, how would that, how is that going to spur or lift activity for them? Well, because they, we know from studies that, that were done either in the U.K. and elsewhere that allowing people to get, get, get that income as opposed to a tax-earned uh, income credit, uh, it, it lifts them, if you will, and lifts them out of poverty. It gives them an extra $6,000. If it's a married couple, it gives them an extra, I think, $12,000 or $30,000. Yeah, but, Scott, uh, that, that's if a things were so bad, and I understand what you're saying, but if things are so mm -hmm. bad, we wouldn't be seeing the record low unemployment rates among all groups, the poorest of the poor among them, uh, African Americans, women, Hispanics, I could go on and on. So if all of this was so damaging, we, we would see it clearly evidencing itself, right? Yeah, but you rely on that theory relies too much on those numbers of unemployment uh, numbers being as low as they are. Those numbers measure who's out looking for a job and who's actually getting a job. There are millions of Americans, whether they're black, white, yellow, or brown, who have stopped looking for jobs and are living then in abject poverty and not, cannot hire them. what explains 7.1 million American job openings right now? That, that because the Department strong, of Labor... Right? Well, because the Department of Labor counts the, how they count those persons that are either getting jobs or, or who are part of the unemployed. I don't want to get too deep no, into I the know weeds what you're saying, on it. But do you worry mm -hmm. that, we're, that Democrats are pushing a lot of this, though? Look out of tune. Whatever they want to do to help the poor, and it's a meritorious goal and a, and a, and a very humane one, but then taking the tax cuts from all the other people who had come to expect them, and all of a sudden we see that reverse in their paychecks if they're taken away, how do you explain growth to them? How do you explain what, what they face as a result? Well, as a, but, but, but we've got millions of poor people now with the tax cut. And those tax cuts for those individuals who get $100 or $200 uh, more in their checks, um, uh, they're part of the working poor, many so of the them. So the poverty they're rate being at class. a 40-year low, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you don't want to credit Donald Trump with that, that's fine. Uh, if you want to credit Barack Obama for getting us in that direction, that's fine. But if, if things were so horrendous right now, then we wouldn't see it at a 40-year low, would we? Yeah, but wages are stagnant, and our middle class is stagnant as well. What her but bill does is tries to lift people. But they've been stagnant for years by that definition, yeah. right? Before Donald Trump became president. Absolutely. But she's trying to build the middle class, and it's worked in the U.K. But she's not building the middle class. She's, she's, she's going after the poor and giving them a check 
to forcibly bring them into the middle class. Right? Absolutely. And, and, and you're what's okay your problem with that? with that? I'm really good with that compared to tax cuts that put a hole in the deficit and help the wealthy well, wait and minute, corporations. Wait, 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 wait. Don't you find it a little odd? I mean, any Democrats <laughs> lecture anyone on deficits, it's sort of like me giving you dietary advice. You're well, quite right. I mean, that's deficits Trumpism, got though. worse. No, no, We're in the times of Trump. Got, <laughs> deficits got worse. But I never hear anyone bemoaning the 8 to $10 trillion in additional spending over these years than the million and a, a trillion and a half to two trillion in tax and where cuts. Is so that? which is it? Reaganomics, Trump, Trumponomics, it all says this seven to ten million dollars is going to be spent and therefore we won't have a deficit. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Why do you bemoan the tax cuts as causing a deficit and adding to the debt? And not why? the additional spending that is 10 times those tax cuts. Why, why do you pick Yeah, on but the we tax don't. Cuts? You're projecting that additional spending because you've given this tax cut, and we no, haven't no, no, seen no. that. I, I'm showing it just how it all. There's a ledger on the tax cut, and the legend for eight to ten trillion dollars more in spending. It, it is what it is. So it, why it, do you cite the tax cuts as the problem and not the spending that is 10 times that amount? Yeah, but I don't believe that the spending is that amount, and if it is, it that's is. going just, to be over time. I wouldn't time. make it up. I, I respect you too much. Why would I make up a stat? No, like no, that? no. I didn't mean you respected. I didn't mean you were making it up. I was thinking that that's what's been projected, if you will. But the tax cuts, it can never be good if it's going to blow a hole in the deficit. And I think her bill, be it Democrat or Republican, her bill tends to do the same thing that a, income, a, a tax income earned credit would do. It's just a little it just puts, hard. It just I mean, changes we, 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 we and went through. Money I'm not in blaming pocket. Barack Obama, but it is what it is. It's happened on Republican <laughs> Democratic presidents, but they all spend more than we take in, right? It's just oh, different absolutely. Way, right? So Absolutely. there's a pox on both houses. They're all yeah, crazy but, with our money, right? Yeah, but what about this, though? The Republicans are now talking about cutting the entitlements that will hurt their very voters and cutting those entitlements and arguing that these tax cuts have nothing to do with the huge deficit, which is why they need to get the entitlements under control. And just handing it's a check to poor people will, will rectify that. Well, I think, no, it's not handing a check to poor people. It's handing a check to the all working right. poor to elevate them. You know, her bill doesn't give money to anyone that's not working. And the critics, the left to the far left, the critics don't like that part of the bill. But okay. this is to help the working poor to elevate them to the middle class. That's a huge difference, Neil. All right. Well, you're a good man, Scott, and a big heart. I just uh, feel <laughs> a little obligated to tell you that, that I want to pay for that big heart all the time. Well, I'm, but... a, I'm a business Democrat, too, and I don't like paying for it either. But we've got to get right. this economy going for everyone. All right. You're a good man. Scott, always good having you. Thank you very, very much.